Please, thank you. Uh, it was the 10th eviction of Series 10, and the tensions were unbelievable. He's got all his wits about him. Foxy Freddy's going to be here, everybody. Oh, exciting. You're right to be. Uh, plus, Tinchy Strider's back, everybody. He's going to be making some sweet, sweet music with a surprise guest, everybody. Surprise guest. Uh, and from sweet, 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 we go. Sarah's a lemon. Keith Lemon squeezes his celebrity juice. How you doing, bad boy? Go, 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 go. Uh, and if you thought Poland was about polos, polar bears and pole dancing, not only would you be David, but you'd be wrong. Ian Lee talks BB Poland. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, there can't be any more on the show, but there is. Michelle Bass shows off her Ashley, and let me tell you... <laughs> oh, hey, it's a beautiful thing. Cover yourself up, girl. And uh, now, before any of that, have Charlie and Rodrigo made up? Has B found a positive place? And has C of S finally decided to make an appearance this week? It's time for... BBL News! B, 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 L, B News! From BT! BBLB News 25. 24 hour news and then some. B, 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 L! Sorry, they've got it. B, B, L, B News! It's going to be all right. Now, it's been quite a 24 hours in the house. Let's ease you in with some amusement. A gleeful Charlie has found an alternative use for Sophie's implants, everybody. <laughs> Wee! Woo! Happy days, eh? Uh, and Rodrigo is showing symptoms. He's becoming allergic to David. Do you remember? It was a scam. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? Uh, let's get serious, everybody. There's been a lot of material people in Big Brother history. Ashleen, Charlie Achia, Rex, and at 11.55 a.m., still reeling from his huge bust-up with Charlie, fired up Rodrigo, declared he was anything but a material boy. Isn't that right? Yes, yeah, correct. Correct, I'm on I'm not here for a party, to go out and get free, free drinks, or to get a free car, or to get a... Or to party in, in tables and things they say in the house. I'm not here for this reason. He doesn't want a free car or drinks. He's drink. not going to get a free car. <laughs> <laughs> At 3.20 oh. p.m., Big Brother put in its latest challenge, the alphabet task, everybody. Ooh. Yeah? Oh. Do you like the alphabet? I like it, I like it. Uh, housemates were individually called to the diary room and had to randomly choose a letter from the alphabet, then name as many words as possible, beginning with that letter. Do you think you'd be any good at this? It's very complex. It is. Should we see how they did? Yes. Little yes. Little one thing. Small sport, Somalia. Um. <laughs> Blue, brown, Oscar. Look at Oscar, golden Oscar. Wait, weighted, queen. <laughs> um. <laughs> How about that? He pulled up Q. He got Queen and Quiche was the other one. But he didn't get a free car. He's not going to no. get one. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, nice one. And now, C of S won the task and was awarded a hamper of goods beginning with S. Scones, slippers, strawberry sauce, sponges, scotch eggs, sheep, sheep, cuddly toy and sorbet. All his dreams have come true. How about that, everybody, eh? Uh, now, however, as night fell, Charlie was up to no good yet again. Can't Can you believe, believe it? it? I can't believe hey, it, George. At 1.15am in the morning, he was causing mischief for B. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Water. Just spat in my face. It's water. Let's hope it was water. Uh, that's it for BBLB <laughs> News 25. BBLB News 25. 24 hour news and then some. So, Freddie was evicted from the house, and you have repaid him with a spectacle by turning everybody against him. And I didn't see it because I was in the toilet. <laughs> this is what went down. Listen, we're going to have such a laugh. John McCreary, I don't know if you know him. No. Please welcome Freddie! <laughs> Like a lot of politicians, you made a lot of fatal assumptions about why people were voting for you. OK. Freddie, public school boys don't blow. It's all right for men to cry. No, it's OK. Yeah. Listen, Freddie is out, but the fun is still going to continue. It was fun. No, it was all right.
Next for Freddy, back to his estate, sack a few servants and get a few extra housemaids in. Do you like cinnamon spice tea? <laughs> Men who paint cats on their faces. <laughs> no. Foxy, charming, and just a little bit dangerous. <laughs> wow, it's so weird being in a car. Daddy, buddy! <laughs> uh, I don't believe it. Uh, my local team are just here. So, <laughs> I'll say hi. <laughs> got my phone, I haven't turned it on yet. Let's see what I've got. <laughs> Your text messages. No. It's Frederick, Freddie, Halfwit, George Fisher, everybody! I genuinely, that's the best reception we've had in the entire series. How about that? How about that? Hey, that's what a wonderful awesome. thing. Yeah. Uh, so, Freddie, it is a little bit weird calling you Freddie. Do you, would you prefer if we called you Halfwit? Do you miss <laughs> Halfwit? I did enjoy being Halfwit. Yeah? yeah? I was so scared I'd take myself too seriously in the house. And... Oh, you, you certainly didn't do that, except for the moments <laughs> when you kind of went into the kind of bard-like, you know, monologues that you were doing, the one like which I copied. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh... What, what, what's going on with the tattoo? I, I heard you're getting a tattoo of Halfwit. Is that yes, right? Yes, I am. Every, every eviction uh, mm -hmm. that I survived, I said it's like going up a rank, uh, yeah. like in the military or something. So what are you now? You're like I'm a field marshal or something. Colonel Halfwit. Colonel Halfwit. That sounds good. Yeah. Like That's a tattoo. And now you were, I mean, I, I don't know if it was just kind of positive mental affirmations that you were trying mm. to make, but you were very, very confident that you'd be staying in the house. Were you, were you particularly shocked when you found out you'd be leaving? Yeah, I was a bit shocked. You know, right. I'd, I'd had a really bad couple of weeks, so I could understand why. But I wasn't cocky, though. Right. You know, it was, uh, it was an assertiveness. Because uh, I felt people in the house were, were threatened by me, and yeah. he was, oh, you're feeling nervous about Friday, Freddie. I'm like, no, I'm not feeling nervous. Right, okay, you know? so you're just trying to be positive and, exactly. and just get through the week, basically. Exactly. And I've got some mm. statistics for you. They're pretty impressive. Uh, you received 45 nominations. Wow. You faced, uh, you faced the public vote eight times. Yeah. And this week was the closest result of the series. You only got 53.61% of the public vote. How about that? Wow. It was, it was very, very close. The, the public definitely liked you, man. What's What's it been like being out and about? Have you been bumping into people? Uh, have you had a, a good reaction? Yes, it's been really nice actually. Yeah. You know, a couple of people I've seen are just like, oh, oh, Freddie, you know, and they just come up and just chat and they want to. They... I thought they were going to say more than that. They just going to come up and go, oh, oh, Freddie. And... No, no, oh, right. yeah. Right, okay. And what about John? What about yeah. John McCruick on uh, on on Friday? Well done for standing up against him. Yeah, yeah. He was what... giving you some stick. Yeah. Jordan, completely out of order. Yeah, space, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Now, we had, a, we had a very peculiar situation, and you were kind of part of the, the cause of that, uh, that you were allowed to talk about nominations for the first time ever in the house in a 10-year history. Yes. How was that? How did it affect the mood in there? I laughed so much when they announced yeah. that. I thought, I, you, I thought you were going to go into one for a minute there. <laughs> huh? Really? So, uh, what, and you just, did you kind of, were you gleefully running around telling everybody exactly who you'd nominated and... and... Mostly. Most, right. Well, not gleefully. <laughs> right. It was uh, more... I liked the fact that, because a lot of people feel paranoid... I, I remember that's how I fell out with Noreen because she was really paranoid that I'd nominated her and I hadn't. Yeah. And, and I couldn't say, no, Noreen, I've been I on your side with right, this. Okay. Yeah, you so know. You think, do you think Big Brother should keep it like that forever? I think it's interesting, but it does, in, it does encourage group behaviour, though. Right. And that's why I think I really liked how Rodrigo handled it. And yeah. had I stayed in this week, I would have been open. I would say, yeah, I'm definitely nominating B. The other right. one, though, Everyone I'm keeping. That's my personal choice. Now, I want to talk about uh, uh, the kind of anniversary week. Yes. All of a sudden, we had a couple of old housemates going. Their new lot kicked off. You were the Rebels Without a Cause. Next thing you know, <laughs> you were in the pool, in a bar. Hey. Captain Halfwit there. Give me a cigarette. Well, not, what, why, did, why did that change the atmosphere so much? Um, I think we've been spending a lot of time just sort of sitting around, bored, and waiting, and I felt yep. there were some people in the house, especially Lisa, who just wanted to moan and complain. Right, so you just wanted to we jazz wanted, it up a little bit. We just wanted to do something, right. snap out of it, and okay. just... 
Take the initiative. You, you, I also wanted to talk about your look changes. You were, you were mm. continuously changing. Uh, over these 72 days, uh, you had four different looks. How yes. about that? <laughs> Looking back, which one, which look? I, I particularly like these two, the kind of like the good and evil way, uh, the good and evil half way. Yeah. yeah? Uh, which one was your favourite look? My favourite look was this one. Yeah? And my favourite... Week five really came into his own there, didn't he? <laughs> exactly. Why, why did you like that look so much? I liked it because in the early days in the house, I'd been, um, I'd been quite vulnerable yeah. and so forth. And I liked that because it gave me... It, as I changed my hairstyle, it was like a fresh start for me and other people are in you the gonna house. Keep, are you going to keep the kind of, you know, the number one all over or whatever forever? Or no, I don't think gonna so. You're going to go back to old... I'm going to let it grow really, really long. You look really like long. Shaggy out of Scooby-Doo, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Absolute yes. ringer. Uh, now, I wanted to talk about this summer of love that you promised us. Uh, when you went in there, you said... First off, you said you had a crush on Charlie. Mm -hmm. uh, then you told Siavash you'd sleep with him. Then the yes. next thing you know, you were, you were a snogging angel. Uh, <laughs> then you fancied Noreen and B. And on the way out, you had a little smooch with David. Mm -hmm. uh, was it the summer love you'd expected, or was it a bit mmm? It was a bit mmm. Yeah. yeah, it was a bit mmm. We bought, that's all we wanted. Yeah. That's all we came mm. for today, mate. <laughs> uh, would you have liked to, to have a bit more action in there? Oh, I think so. But the thing is, when you in such a paranoid environment where jealousy and mistrust can spread, it, it, it probably causes... I don't know. I don't know. I would have... <laughs> it's I done, it's I done, it's done. It's done. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, now, you always excelled in the musical tasks, OK? Mm -hmm. uh, you did the opera singing, the nonny knowing, uh, you mm. did the old bambooing, <laughs> but we think you might have missed a, a, a classical trick. Have a little listen to this, see what okay. you think. I just see you reminiscing there. Uh, you said to Davini, give yourself a 9 out of 10 for musicality. Indeed. Really? Well done. That's good. That's good stats. Uh, if, if politics doesn't work out, do you think you might go for a career in music? Oh, I would love to dabble. I'd love to combine the two, in fact, and do a lot of political music. In... Oh, really? Yeah. I think that'll be really fun. Oh, we're yeah. all looking forward to that. Don't worry about that. Uh, I also wanted to talk to you about your good friend, Ravi. OK. Uh, he's, become, he's become a big friend of the show, hasn't he, everybody? Yeah. He's actually become a little bit of a national institution. Awesome. Uh, I don't think you could wish for a better friend. We've all been waiting to see the reunion. Ravi's here, you're here. Let's get it on. Come on out, Ravi, if you're awesome. Yeah. Sit down. Wow. Huh? Some ladies crying down the front there. So, oh, wow. Uh, now, I, I can't tell you the sheer dedication as a, as a friend that this guy showed. Uh, he even at one point smeared ravioli all over Bean's <laughs> friend's face. Are you proud of him? Yes. That's brilliant, That was man. a bit of fun, though. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Rock and roll, man. No, no, it was good. Huh? It was good. Don't worry about that. You will stick it up for your mate. It was a beautiful thing. Uh, Freddie, roll, you've man. been a wonderful... You've been a one... Can I get in on that? Can I... Yes. yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. yes. Yeah. Uh, you've been a wonderful housemate. Uh -huh. uh, let's have a look at your best mix, fella. OK. Hello. Actually, I am Halfwit the First, who was once called Frederick the Fourth. <laughs> Hello, Great Britain. Where you from? I'm from the countryside. Is it? Awesome, like, soliloquy. Freddie is in his own world. Got a lovely spirit and a lovely heart. I really like Freddie as well. Freshening every single thing. Ah. My electrode things aren't working 100% because they... Well, now they're working. I am the peaceful ruler. Spread the hug. Spread the love. She is so my type. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she felt it was being sleazy, but I didn't mean to be. I really had very little natural understanding of social signals. I was just being friendly. Oh! Oh! I love singing. Oh. Oh. Politics is too important to be boring. I totally agree. Mm. Hey. <laughs> I am, like, the coolest person in the world ever.
the uh, for the paint in dog face. Huh? How good was that? The best shot anybody's ever uh, any ever taken. And uh, now Ravi has been here so much; he's literally been here every week. He's got his own best bits. How about that? All right. Uh, <laughs> look, Ravi. <laughs> Uh, oh, very good, thanks very much. We'll leave the French there, pal. We've got Ravi, everyone. <laughs> yes, yeah, Halfwit's partner in crime, Ravi. Ravi's back, everybody! Yeah. It's Ravmataz, everybody! Yeah. Ravi, go for it. Come on, Ravi. Yeah. The wheels are coming off, he's going so fast. Hey, super speed. Come on, Ravi. Freddie dares to love, you know. He doesn't expect people to be mean, so if he doesn't pick up on those signs, it's because he wants a lovely, bubbly universe for everyone. You're a great friend, Ravi. I wish we were buddies. What a beautiful thing friendship is. Uh, give him a big round of applause, everybody. Uh, guys, thank you. You're going to stay with us, right? Yeah. Great news. Right. Still to come, find out why Ian Lee loves this music. <laughs> come on, Ian. You said you'd do it, Ian. Come on, Ian. Do it more. <laughs> Here we go behind the music of Angel's new album, Out of Silence. Uh, you really don't want to miss it. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to BBLV. It is 12.46. Now, since Angel left the house, she hasn't been the same. Some might blame this for that. Freddie, how much did you enjoy that? <laughs> it was a very fun moment. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Would you do it again? Why not? Really? Well, yeah. Angel's here, everybody! No, no, no. Oh, God! It's not gonna happen. <laughs> and now, that kiss was part of the inspiration behind her new album, Out of Silence, but let's take a look behind the music. It's a very funny, very interesting album. It calls uh, 10 songs from Big Brother 10. The inspiration behind my album was um, feelings that... Um, I felt in Big Brother house, and when I was in the hotel uh, after Big Brother eviction, I met the ghost of Michael Jackson. And he said, Angel, come back to music. Each night becomes a fairy tale full of stars. And truly, I think uh, I thank a lot Little Brother because I think being called to, be, to Little Big Brother to perform, and then Little Brother started to ask me to come again and to sing more songs. I Just one by one, I realized, hmm, maybe I've got an album. You've come to me, you took my heart and stole my soul. Angel's new album, OMG, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> thank you, Angel, for changing my life and so many others. I think uh, my music is uh, the fusion of uh, bands I like, like Oasis, Eurythmics, Rolling Stones. That's what make it original. I date my life from before hearing Angel's album to, to after. Um, it's BA before Angel, AD after the hearing it. My next step, I would like to go to Eurovision Song Contest and to represent United Kingdom. I hope people will hear it all across the world. So, if you want to see Angel singing in the next Eurovision, simply log on to the Big Brother website and download this petition form, sign it, send it back to us, and we will pass your petition on to the necessary people. Angel in Oslo in 2010. Let's make it a reality, people! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Freddie, take this. Go and get them to sign it, mate. Right. Oh, no, you go. Go and sign the petition, everybody. Right. And yeah. now, from one international yes. dream to another, it's Ian Lee, everybody. Would you like a sausage? Oh, I'd love a sausage. Would you like a sausage? Oh, this smells so hey, nice. You say so um, you're going to send that form on to the relevant authorities. Who be they, George? Uh, the the Eurovision uh, authority. Uh, ah, he knows Those who they are. Uh, Amazing sausage. Come and help yourself to sausages, what, ladies and gentlemen. What's with the sausage? Uh, 
They're from a Polish shop. And okay. today, oh, I've given away where we're going. Oh, oh. Nightmare, nightmare. Let's look at the map and let's see where we've been let's so far. Recap. So far, we've been Auf dem Deutsch, Germany. Yeah, yeah. We've been Albania. Don't know what they speak there. Uh, Africa, Australia, Netherlands, Bulgaria, Israel, and the Philippines. Ah, bitch. <laughs> ah, and <laughs> today, we are in Polski Slep. That's Polish. Beautiful. What's, what's going on in Poland, BB wise? Oh, big brother wise. Apart I'm from glad, the sausage. I'm glad you asked. They have um, BB Polski. There have been five series in total, including yeah. a celebrity one. Yeah, they've got celebrities over there. Kicked off in March 2001, and it was massive with 10% of the no Polish population watching it. Uh, but don't miss with Big Brother Polski, George. Why not? Because it plays nasty. The Polish housemates tried to mutiny because they weren't allowed any smokes, any tabs, any right, fags okay. in there. Uh, so ask me how Big Brother Polish reacted. Ask me. How did Big Brother Polish reacted? They set fire to the house! No, <laughs> no, yes. no, no. What, did the, what did the housemates do, Ian? They burnt! No, they no. didn't. They didn't burn. There was widespread panic. Luckily, the fire was eventually put out by non-smoker Janusz Jacke. Oh, what a hero! What a hero. Janusz, what In a the hero. great style of Lech Wałęsa, he went and put a fire out in the Big Brother house. That's amazing. And he was rewarded with the choice of either having a phone call to someone he knows, like, I don't know, a brother or a friend or a family, someone he knows, or having cigarettes in the house for all the smokers. What did he go for, Ian Lee? He chose the tabs, George. You're he was never me. nominated. He went on to win that series. That's wow. how you do oh, it. What an amazing thing that is. Yes, hey? yes, yes. Uh, so uh, what, else, what else do we know about Big Sorry, Brother? Sorry, my phone just fell out of my pocket there. What else is it? Where, where is it at now? Well, it went on for a massive five... It stopped for five years yeah. because they went a little bit crazy with it and they brought it back in the year 2007, so two years ago. Right, okay. It disappeared so long, George, I'm glad you asked me that, because scientists were working in a laboratory... Why did it disappear for so long, Ian? I'm glad you asked me that, George. It disappeared so long because scientists were developing the technology to come up with a woman as hot as this! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! There. Hot potatoes, that boys and girls. Who the hell's that? That's my mum. Right, OK. <laughs> uh, who, uh, no, that's Jolanta. She's the winner of BB Polsky 4. And I think we've got some clips of her from that series. Would you like to have a look? I'd love to see some clips Let's here. Let's have a look. I'm just to talk to you. Chwycił na taśnie przypięty swój róg, ma woli. Sztuczka, 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 kusa. Cztery, jeden, wygrywa! Jolanta Rutowi! Jolanta uh, should be on the line right now. Jolanta, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, John. Oh, you know, you're a very sexy lady, Jolanta. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you. How I'm did, the princess. Did you, uh, clearly. <laughs> how did you get... You've got very big earlobes, we're thinking, on your picture here. Have you had any work done on your earlobes? <laughs> no, stop it. No, no, of course I hadn't. Stop no, it. Of no, course right. she hasn't. Just Why did that it. guy throw water over you, Yolanta? I don't know. You know, he was really, he was really stupid, I will say. And then he was um, uh, offending me. And then I was bullied by him. So you know, I said that you are rude and stupid. And he was throw the water at me. Oh, but you dear. know, I'm still alive. I'm still okay. So still looking it's, crazy it's, sexy. Still you, sexy. You are <laughs> still sexy. <laughs> Hey, Yolanta, Popatch yeah. Nemoyo Gurek. Say again? Popatch Nemoyo Gurek. A Gurek? I think I've said the right thing, otherwise, we could be in very big trouble. <laughs> Do you want to eat sausage? Uh, right, now, listen. Hey, apparently, you auditioned for Big Brother UK. I would love to, to be there, really. I would love to, to be there. Hey, listen, not really? as much as we'd love to have you here. <laughs> There's always... Uh, <laughs> what? Hey, what a sexy laugh laughing. you've got, Stop you, laughing, Yolanta. stop laughing. OK. All right, all right, darling. We've got... By the way, do you like this? What's this sausage called again? The uh, The Kalimsi uh, sausage. Do you know this sausage, the little ones? Yeah, I hate it. I oh, hate okay. it. I right. hate she it. likes the big Polish sausage. Right, OK. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't like that sausage. You like... Okay. Oh, I'm not even doing it. <laughs> uh, thank don't, you, Yolanta. Thank you. Bye-bye, uh, darling. Give her a big round of applause. Well done, Yolanta. Ian. <laughs> where, uh, where are we going next week? We're going to Croatia, George. Croatia, what See you later. Thank you, Ian Lee. Ian Lee, everybody!
Ian Lee, right now, is back to the best of British. All you need is a stiff upper lip and a strong stomach, calling all wannabes. Wannabe Big Brother! BBLB has come up with the best prize we've ever had. One lucky viewer will actually get to become Big Brother. You'll get to call housemates to the diary room and ask them whatever you want. Hello. You'll travel here in style for a behind-the-scenes tour of Big Brother, meet the gorgeous Davina and meet the winner of BB10. So, how far would you be prepared to go to become BB? This, this, or even this? If we think you show potential, you could be invited to take part in some extreme challenges live on BBLB. To apply, go to channel4.com slash BBLB. Applications will close at midnight on Saturday the 22nd of August, and applicants must be over 18. <laughs> Week's one of these. We've got Chris, Sophie, Joby, and Marianne. Hey. Hey. Uh, Chris, would you do absolutely anything to be on Big Brother? Let's put it this way I'll do any task, and you know I'll trample over anyone who gets my way, whether it's friend, family, or even the lovely Davina. Whoa there! What well, he sounds like he'd do just about anything. Sophie, are you going to be able to cope with that? Yeah, I can. Yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> She's mad hyped inside. Uh, Joby, yeah, man. Uh, are you excited about the potential of becoming Big Brother? I really am. It's uh, an exciting opportunity. I've uh, spent most of my life um, wanting to do this. Really? I'm now here now, you know, so that's... Oh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that's for it, you. Uh, Marianne, I think you might have stiff competition, darling. Do you think you can do it? Hopefully. Let's just have to see. OK, shall we give them a little clue as to what they're going to be doing? Yeah? yeah? Have a little look at this. No, it's true. Everything I do, I do it for you. <laughs> Here's the clue, guys. Uh, oh, sorry, that was the clue. However, our task doesn't involve Maxwell, and we've added a little Big Brother twist. Uh, so, go, go ooh, like that, ooh. <laughs> exactly. Still to come, these guys will be facing the mysterious maggots of Mesopotamia. Keith Lemon gets a bad case of Roddy Rage, and Hera hangs out in a dungeon. You could not make it up. We'll see you in a minute. Give me a kiss! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, guys! He's hopeless! Derek, your secret mission is as follows. You must receive a kiss from each of your fellow housemates. For every kiss you receive, you will win a cigar. Right. <laughs> Welcome back to BBLB. It's 12.58, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the last time my next guest was on, he made me pretend to be a woman called Cheryl <laughs> and tried to woo me with hot chocolate and crisps. It's the sexual citrus that is Mr Keith Lemons, everybody. <laughs> huh? Quite a bit of you know what? The way you made that entrance, that's almost like we'd messed up and taken you out for the next part and I then had to call you in at a later, <laughs> later stage. I wanted to make it look like it wasn't a mistake. No, no, it was really good. Isn't, just... he lo isn't he looking incredible, ladies? Yeah. Ah. What can I just say? That I'm not wearing this to promote the Bo Selector one-hour tribute to Michael Jackson. It's on September 24th on E4 at 10 o'clock, and then on Channel 4 at 10 o'clock on October uh, 30th, I, and out on DVD at Christmas. It's just because I like the attire. Of course you are. Of course you are. Now, what do you think are you about... Are going to a V Festival? No. What do you think... Uh, are you going to James and Tiffy's wedding? What do you think about... Uh, you know Freddy's... James and Tiff, What you? about Freddie's exit over Wolfman? What do you think? Yeah, I was a bit disappointed, because um, I like Freddie, and I put money on him to win. I thought he might win. Nightmare uh, for uh, you. And um, Wolverine, I don't like him at all. If I start talking about him, I might swear, so you better well, so shut what, BT. What would, happen, what would happen if you met Marcus, if he came out, if you guys had to go out for dinner or something like that? Um, I, don't, I don't think I'd go out with him. I'd just give him a bag of Star Wars figures and say, you'll play with them. <laughs> you do, do you, can you buy Star Wars figures in bags? <laughs> <laughs> Two ounces of Star Wars figures, Thank please. You. You'll play with them, you nutter. <laughs> and some rhubarb and custard. Because he plays uh, with toys, don't he? I, I, I believe so. I believe there's no toys in there. Have you seen his new press pick? This is one that he commissioned himself. Looks like a murderer. Uh, what's, yeah, he doesn't look like he doesn't look like one of those. He looks like he looks, one of those. I won't say it again, but he does look like one of those. Right. Can't you say the M word? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, look at his hair. Like, see what he's trying to do? He's trying to flick a bit of hair onto the front there. But don't, don't Wolverine have him up? Yes, he usually does, but he doesn't like the fact he's receding. Right. Why has he got a ponytail then? Because that's sure that's pulling it all out. Well, I think it's to be honest. It I looks think, disgusting, I think George. I think he's a little bit You've bold. You've changed to be it up, you? Yeah, I have. I have. Do you yeah, like it? It looks faster. Yeah. Do you think it looks yeah. faster, guys? Yeah. Uh, now, now, scream if you want to go faster. Yeah. Uh, now, Marcus. 
wasn't the only one who was upset on Friday night. He got, he was a bit fuming about the fact that he hadn't gone. Uh, then all of a sudden it kicked off and Rodrigo went crazy again. Have a look at this. What did he say? Shut up. What did he say? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Well, it's the last time. Shut up. His big brother. Shut up. Rodrigo come to no, the I'm not coming to any table. No. Why Rodrigo again? I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Why don't you? Why didn't you call him? Why Rodrigo? 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 <laughs> Rodrigo? No! No! Are you going to let no, Big Brother tell no. you why Big Brother called I you to the door? I was sleeping! Oh, he's properly lost it there, Keith. I'll tell you what, I think he's quite frustrated because he wants to take Chow to the chocolate factory, I think. Right, OK. <laughs> uh, why do you think he goes so crazy every Friday? It's something to do with nominations. For a whole week, he's frustrated because he's in love with Chow, isn't he? Right, That's okay. what it is, and then he just bursts. Oh. Is, he is he in love with him? He's in love with him! Yeah. And uh, now, what about David? I know you're a big fan of his. Leeds all the way. Yeah? yeah you like Leeds, that? Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. What, 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 what is it about him that you like so much? Well, I think I've met him before because really? my, my brother is homosexual, right. uh, as is he is. And I think he's been out with him, so really? I, I think I recognise him. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. Keith Lemon, everybody. Yeah. Now, uh, you've been logging on to the Big Brother website telling us why you want an ex housemate for work experience. So, when we were contacted by the London Dudgeons, who requested a recruit for their scare patrol, the first name that sprang to mind, Keith? Cat Fleet Thing. Hera. Hera! That doesn't mean it's the right name, though. What is it then? <laughs> hey, it's Hera from Big Brother, and I'm here in the London Dungeon. Today, I'll be the one doing the scary stuff, so I'm really excited. Right, so, here at the dungeon, we're gonna make you horrible, scary and nasty. When was the last time you screamed? What makes you Me? scream? Me? When I saw a rat in London Underground. So remember that, how that made you scared, to scare our audiences as they come round, okay? I'm ready for that. <laughs> well, now, Ezra. Ezra the Mad Monk, you're crazed, obsessed. So how do you feel? I am ready to scare them, scare the tourists, and make them scream! I love it when they get scared. <laughs> A little bit concerned when I heard that we're going to have the nicest Big Brother housemate ever to come and uh, train with us, but uh, I think she's got a dark side that she released today. I really did have a lot of fun in there, and I learned one thing about myself, which is that, you know, I can be scary, and I can be fierce, and people in there were terrified. And guess what? I loved each minute of it. <laughs> so, uh, if you want a housemate to help your work, log on to the website now, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for... This is Be Big Brother! So, yes. You're right to be excited, everybody. You are right to be. And uh, now our four contestants claim they will do anything for the chance to be Big Brother. In front of them are two pints of maggots, everybody. And a packet oh. of crisps. But they've been muddled up. The red ones taste of strawberry. The white are cat food flavoured. Oh. Is it? And now these guys have to sort the red from the white. That's easy enough, isn't it, guys? Yeah. yeah? Except they're going to be blindfolded and they have to separate them through taste. Lick the maggot and put it in the right tray. And the one with the most correct maggots in the right tray wins. Each of you have a celebrity counter. Celeb counters, please, can you put their blindfolds on them? Uh, Come on, Sophie. Does, it, does everybody still want to go ahead with this? Yeah? Chris, Jobby, oh, Marianne, Sophie, all, all still, still game? OK, play. fantastic. I have to, I have to ask you for legal reasons. Uh, your time. <laughs> his album comes out tomorrow. I know it does, I know it does. <laughs> <laughs> just at the just, just off the, the back festival? of his number one single. No it's amazing. Uh, right, Catch time 22. starts now. Let's go. Go, go on, get it. Slightly pensive start from Chris there. Jobby's just throwing them all into his mouth. Keith, 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 you can't cheat. There can't be any cheating. There can't be any cheating. Oh dear, I think it's all going wrong down here with Ian Lee. Who's licking? Jobby seems to quite like the taste of them. Chris is going very slowly. He's going very slowly. Uh, are we counting, guys? I need you to be counting. Right, okay, that's that's. Oi, Sophie, firm in your mouth. Sophie, firm in your mouth. Okay, that's it. That's it, everybody. That's it. Take, take the blindfolds off. Take the blindfolds off, if you will, please. Right. Okay.
Okay, well so, done. no more cheating over there. Sophie's throwing them all over herself, you dirty lady. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, right, how are we doing here, Harvey? Wait, we've got, we've got, he's got two, two there, uh, and then probably about half a dozen over there. You were doing it properly, I saw this. Uh, how are we doing, Tinchi? He's got, he's got like three in there and a the strawberry. Three or four. And, yeah, and I don't You've know done quite, you know what, I've got to say, I think so far Jobby's winning. Uh, and then, uh, Keith, get your hands off that. What's going on over here? Well, let's let our moving be this little here, it's dying. <laughs> oh, you killed the maggot. <laughs> you heathen. She's chewing maggots. What's wrong with you? She liked the taste so much, John. Right, I reckon, it. I reckon. And then let's go. And you've been cheating all the way, Fred. Not having it. You should be disappointed in yourself, Sophie. And you too, Mr. I'm Lee. Very disappointed. Mr. Uh, I think Sorry. I'm going to call it, guys. We got a winner. It's Jobby, everybody. Yay! How are you feeling? I feel ecstatic. You're right, to be ecstatic. He is one step closer to being Big Brother. Uh, however, oh, the, oh, hang on, the good news is, the good news is, everybody, and they're all winners. They're all winners. They all get. A, they all get a signed copy of Tinchy's new album, Trek Cats. If you think you're tough enough to be Big Brother, details are on the website right now. Still to come, Tinchy gives his thoughts on Sophie's lyrical flow. Michelle Bass gives us gives our band a go, and we'll be back in a mo. That was meant to rhyme. Yeah. <laughs>
Because she's so weird, and now she's gone. I see a hard whisked. It's a bit for the festival when I can be bothered to show. And I was very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Using Freddie's system. Are you are you proud of yourself? Huh? Yes, I said awesome. Yeah. Awesome, indeed. Awesome, he thought he was yeah. awesome. Uh, out 200%? Uh, 200%. Um, 100%. 100%, oh, okay. all right. 100%. Out you go, guys. Right. Here you go, Thank half you marks. Right, next up, <laughs> Keith Lemon. Keith Lemon, wow, you are looking real hot. What's the name of your act, sir? Keith. What kind of music <laughs> will you be doing today? I've been told it's called rap. It's when you say words that rhyme a bit, but okay. go with a flow and a beat and Let's stuff. Let's do it, baby. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> when your hands in the air, Two ten tables with a mic and I learned to rock like a friend of mine. Time went by and was my creation. Are you on there with rap the nation? Well, I made up my mind just what to do. And I joined the jam on production crew. Go crazy, go crazy. Don't let your body be lazy. I said, don't stop your body rock till your eyes are so oh. Can I get you to open your eyes if you want to hear me? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tinchi, what did you make of that? What do you make of that? Beastie Boys sort of shouting. He had everything, the moves, everything, the rap. He's got the shades. He's got the shades, yeah. 200%. What are we thinking? 200%, yes! 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 It doesn't matter. Can you, can you right. keep it in there? That yeah, would be we better. can. We can. Hang on a second. Sorry, sorry. Right, about Hera, this. what's the name of your act? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, babe. Uh, take it away. Go for it, Hera. Okay. I know you can, so go ahead and try. I know you can, so there ain't no reason why. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the, the bod. Because all yeah. I saw was Sidney just standing there going. Yeah, I had to take my shades off. Whoa. I had to take my shades off for that. Had a rate out of 200. 150. 150, all right, come on in, guys. Uh, that means, ladies and gentlemen, Tinchi, do you want to give uh, do you want to give our winner his yeah, cup? What's, um, what's your band's name again? Keith. 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 Yeah, Keith. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Well done. Thanks what an so amazing much. thing. Oh. Amazing oh. thing. Oh. Hey, how do you feel, Keith? I feel really excited, like I'm climbing up a rope and you get a funny feeling. Yeah, yeah, exactly that kind of feeling. Yeah. Guys, are you, are, you, are you disappointed? Will you be able to go away and carry on with your lives? Oh, I'm I am disappointed. Do I really get to keep this? You really get to keep this. I inspired so many people and everything. <laughs> I know oh, you're God. so right about that here. You did inspire yeah, so many. You're what? Halfway. Halfway. I just wanted to ask you quickly. Who do you want to win? Rodrigo. Rodrigo to win, yeah? yeah See you there. So. We'll have to wait until Rodrigo! Guys, big thank you to all my guests. I'll be back tomorrow over on E4 at 6 o'clock when I'll be joined by Lisa Mafia. Make sure you watch the main show tonight at 9 o'clock and go to the Big Brother website for all the latest news. Here to play us out is the lovely Michelle Bass with Never Gonna Give You Up. Yeah.
Say goodbye. 